Ever watch a finish to a race and thought to yourself, man, I wish Kyle Larson won the race, or man, I wish Chase Elliott won the race, or man, I wish Kyle Busch won the race? Well, you're in luck. I'm going back and redoing some of the finishes to these races. But I'm doing this not once, not twice, but 10 times with 10 winners. This is the 10 Winners Challenge. Our eighth 10 Winners Challenge takes us 10 years ago to the 2007 Daytona 500. This is my way of saying thanks for helping me get to where I am now. In this race, a late caution came out for a wreck involving Ricky Rudd, Jamie McMurray, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. This leads us to overtime. We had a side-by-side -side finish, and Kevin Harvick just edged out Mark Martin for his first Daytona 500 win. I'm turning back the hands of time and redoing the 2007 Daytona 500. Here is the starting lineup, and I promise I will not spoil anything like what I did in the previous episode of the 10 Winners Challenge. Since this is a direct attempt, Kevin Harvick's chance to win is gone. Also, since restarts back in the day were single file, I will respect that by giving some distance between cars. Alright, let's rewind the clock and commence the 8th 10 Winners Challenge. Coming to our only green-white checkered overtime restart. Mark Martin is your leader. He has never won the Daytona 500 before. This is his 23rd attempt, and this is his first time not with Roush in a long time. Kyle Busch, could he get his first Daytona 500 win? Or can someone out of the back get it done? Pacecar is gonna pull on in here. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. Here we go. Martin, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, or will someone pull a miracle out of the back? Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. Kyle Busch gets the early jump here, and David Gilliland is going to move into second place. Mark Martin did not get a good restart as he's going to fall back. Fifth, sixth position. David Reagan to the outside of Mark Martin. David Gilliland. He started on pole. He started off strong. He had problems earlier, and now here he is, and he could potentially upset again. Remember, David Gilliland, he won the Bush Series race in 2006 in Kentucky, and now he has this Cup Series ride. David Reagan to the inside. And as Mike Wallace in the 09 car, he is moving into second place. Kyle Busch goes down the block. Can that high side get any traction? Coming off of turn number four. Boys, farther in the back. Elliot Sadler gets in the Greg Biffle. Kyle Busch goes up to block David Gillen. And we got one lap to go. Kyle Busch and Mike Wallace to the inside of Kyle Busch. On board with David Reagan. This race is wide open ever since Kurt Busch and Tony Stewart wrecked 40, 50 laps ago. And David Reagan is pushing Mike Wallace to turn number two. Down the back straight, Mike Wallace goes up to block Kyle Busch. Kyle has a run, but David Reagan is being a push from Kevin Harvick. And David Reagan, he has only had a few Cup Series starts last year in his rookie season. He's going to potentially pull an upset. Kevin Harvick, he's moving into second position. Casey Mears farther behind, but David Reagan in the sixth AAA car will come off the turn number four down the front straightaway and Reagan upsets and wins the 2007 Daytona 500. Unbelievable. You would not have expected David Reagan to be up there with the strong cars that Mark Martin and Kyle Busch had, but David Reagan got the right push from Kevin Harvick. Harvick finishes in second position but David Reagan replaces Mark Martin in that six car. And here he is, gonna go to victory lane for the first time ever, and it happens to be the Great American Race. Here is the top 10 on your screen. As you see, David Reagan is your winner. Kevin Harvick, as mentioned before, finishes in the top five. Mark Martin, he had it there at first, but just could not get going on the restart. 
but right now it is all that man right there. David Reagan in the number six, Triple A Ford. Gets his first ever win. So we're gonna go to Victory Lane here and we're gonna celebrate with that young man. Coming to our only green-white checkered overtime restart. Mark Martin is your leader. He has never won the Daytona 500 before. This is his 23rd attempt, and this is his first time not with Roush in a long time. Kyle Busch, could he get his first Daytona 500 win? Or can someone out of the back get it done? Pacecar is gonna pull on in here. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. Here we go. Martin, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, or will someone pull a miracle out of the back? Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. Mark Martin gets a good jump ahead of Kyle Busch. He's going to have two, three car lengths going to turn number one. Kyle Busch goes in, and he's going to block Greg Biffle. Down to the inside, Mark Martin, he still has a good lead, but as you know, in restrictor plate super speedway racing, that is not a good thing. Kyle Busch goes into second place, farther in the back, they are spreading out two, three wide. Elliot Saller down on the inside, he does have some help from Kevin Harvick. Or does he? I think Harvick moves up into the middle lane. But right now, it is still all Mark Martin. Kyle Busch is trying to catch Mark Martin, but the question is, can he? Or will Mark finally win the Great American Race? Oh, we almost had some trouble as David Shrimmy all the way to the inside. But can he get back up onto the track? The last lap is out and he just gets onto the track, but he is slow. All the cars have to evade David Shrimmy now. But right now it is still all Mark Martin as Kyle Busch is all over the back of Mark Martin. From turn one to turn number two, they are single file for about six or seven cars as we got this aerial shot here. Mark Martin still leads as Kyle Busch. He wants to get that nose underneath, and he does! He does! And Greg Biffle, he has a choice to make, and he goes with Kyle Busch. Mark Martin is all alone on the high side. Heartbreak once again for that man as Kyle Busch is going to come off of turn number four. Can Greg Biffle get a run? It looks like he's going to follow Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch will get his first ever Daytona 500 victory. What a move by Kyle Busch. And I cannot believe that everybody else followed. Greg Biffle finishes second. Elliot Saller finishes third. Kevin Harvick fourth. And then I believe Kevin Harvick's teammate Jeff Burton finishes fifth. The rest of the top 10 is on your screen, but what a move by Kyle Busch. And what I cannot believe is that everybody else stuck to the inside. That's the part that threw me off. But anyway, Kyle Busch, he had some help from some friends. And because of that, he's gonna go to Victory Lane. So we will join him there soon, and Kyle Busch, and that number five, Kellogg Chevrolet, is able to get the job done. So we will take a commercial break here and we will join him in Victory Lane. Coming to our only green-white checkered overtime restart. Mark Martin is your leader. He has never won the Daytona 500 before. This is his 23rd attempt, and this is his first time not with Roush in a long time. Kyle Busch, could he get his first Daytona 500 win? Or can someone out of the back get it done? Pacecar is gonna pull on in here. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. Here we go. Martin, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, or will someone pull a miracle out of the back? Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. Mark Martin has the lead. Kyle Busch is to the high side. David Gilliland, he starts high, but he moves into the third position now behind Mark Martin. David Gilliland. 
He had a strong car. Remember, it started on pole for this year's Daytona 500. And down the back straightaway, Mark Martin goes, David Gill into the low side. Elliot Sadler is there. Elliot Sadler used to pilot that 38 car, but now he's in the empty seat of the 19 car. Down turn number three, there goes David Gillen, as he's gonna be side by side with Mark Martin. But as you know, the low line is usually the better way to go. Coming off of turn number four, and David Gillen, wow! Mark Martin to the high side. Last lap is out, that high line got a run, and they are gonna be even down the front straightaway, but Mark Martin is fighting back. They're side by side still. On board with, I believe that's Elliot Sadler. Can Elliot give David Gilliland the push he needs? Down the back straightaway, it looks like David Gilliland has the nose ahead as David Gilliland, but Mark Martin is right there, but Greg Biffle is not with Mark Martin. And that should give the nose to Gilliland. Mark Martin is now all alone on the high side. That should be enough room. Kyle Busch is fading back, and David Gilliland has a nose ahead now. Elliot Sadler is going to move into second spot, and what an upset again. David Gilliland is going to win the 2007 Daytona 500. David Gilliland, remember, he shocked the world and upset at Kentucky in 2006. And because of that, he was given this ride in, at earlier, in, or should I say later, in 2006. My apologies. Now this is his first full-time gig. Not a rookie this year because of 2006, but look at him. It looks like that he is not a fluke, as he is your winner of the 2007 Daytona 500. David Gilliland, son of Butch Gilliland, who raced in NASCAR quite a long time ago. And now David has picked up the reins and now he has a statement to make. So we're gonna go to Victory Lane here and M&M's is gonna return to Victory Lane once again. Top 10 is on your screen. Elliot Sadler has mentioned finishes in second and Mark Martin will have to wait another year to get his chance at the Daytona 500. Coming to our only green-white checkered overtime restart. Mark Martin is your leader. He has never won the Daytona 500 before. This is his 23rd attempt, and this is his first time not with Roush in a long time. Kyle Busch, could he get his first Daytona 500 win? Or can someone out of the back get it done? Pacecar is gonna pull on in here. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. Here we go. Martin, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, or will someone pull a miracle out of the back? Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. Coming off turn number off the front straightaway, it is Mark Martin ahead of Kyle Busch. David Gilliland is right behind Kyle Busch, but Greg Biffle goes underneath David Gilliland. Through turn number one, one car to the high side, that is Kyle Busch. I don't know if he wanted to go there or if David Gillen forced himself into the middle and Kyle Busch gave David Gillen enough room. But anyway, coming down the back straightaway, Mark Martin is your leader, Greg Biffle, former teammates, one, two, as Martin goes high, Kevin Harvick to the low side. Through turn number three, Mark Martin goes low, Greg Biffle high, David Gillen high, Elliot Sadler middle. Teammates, Harvick, Burton to the inside. They are bumper and bumper together. Down turn number four, Mark Martin is your leader. Kevin Harvick is gonna squeeze up to the high side. Martin is still your leader, as we're gonna have one lap to go here in the 2007 Daytona 500. Martin leads, he's gonna go up to block Harvick, and he does so, but that gives room to Jeff Burton. Martin loses speed. Jeff Burton, Mark Martin, there goes Burton, as he's getting a push from Matt Kenseth. Jeff Gordon also up there in the mix. He had a fast car. As well, he had one car down low, and I think that was Sterling Marlin. Look at him, two and three wide down the back straightaway. They know that any of them have a shot. Burton low, Kenseth high. 
through turn number three. Casey Mears through the middle as Jeff Gordon goes to second. Kenny gets fourth, Daytona 500 win, and we got trouble. We got crash back on turn number four. No caution, no. Jeff Burton is gonna win the 2007 Daytona 500. David Gillen's car is toast, absolutely destroyed. As lots of cars crash in turn number four, but the caution never came out because they were so close to the finish. But the Jeffs, Burton and Gordon finish one and two. Jeff Burton has never won the Daytona 500 before. Gordon, he's already won three of them, but he wanted to get a fourth, but it's not gonna happen today. Here's a replay of the wreck. Joe Nemechek and Clint Boyer get into each other. Gets into Greg Biffle, Elliot Sadler, David Gillen, David Stremme. All wreck in turn number four. I now believe that's Johnny Sauter farther in the back. He gets piled in as well. Not a big wreck, but plenty of good competitors were taken out at the very end of this race. But anyway, it is all Jeff Burton. Congrats to him and that team as we're going to go to victory lane with him as he will finally get to celebrate the great American race. Coming to our only green-white checkered overtime restart. Mark Martin is your leader. He has never won the Daytona 500 before. This is his 23rd attempt, and this is his first time not with Roush in a long time. Kyle Busch, could he get his first Daytona 500 win? Or can someone out of the back get it done? Pacecar is gonna pull on in here. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. Here we go. Martin, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, or will someone pull a miracle out of the back? Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. Kyle Busch to the high set of Mark Martin down the front straightaway. Down to number one. Mark Martin does clear ahead. Kyle Busch is going to have to fall in the second, but Greg Biffle has a strong run in turn number one. Down turn number one, now to turn number two. Mark Martin has about three car length lead on Greg Biffle. Elliott Sadler moves into the third position. Down the back straightaway now. Greg Biffle high, Mark Martin high. Those two are former teammates. Elliott Sadler low as we are too wide down the back straightaway. Mark Martin in his 23rd attempt to win the Daytona 500. Can he finally get it done? Elliott Sadler is right there underneath. And here they come off of turn number four. Boy, oh, mm -hmm. sorry about that. Elliot Sadler almost turns Mark Martin on the front straightaway, but they save it. Life light is out, last lap. Down the front straightaway, Mark Martin still leads as they are two and three wide now. Harvick in the middle, Greg Biffle up high. Mark Martin still sticking to that low side because he knows that's where the lane is at. Elliot Sadler here right behind Mark Martin. Jeff Burton right behind Elliot Sadler. Harvick comes high. Harvick, where did he come from? But they come up to block. Here comes Jeff Gordon to the low side with help from his teammate Casey Mears. And what a run Jeff Gordon has. Through turn three and four, Gordon with an absolutely strong run. Comes off of turn number four with the help from his teammate Casey Mears. Gordon goes up to block Elliott Sadler. And here they come to the line. Jeff Gordon will come down the front straightaway and he will finish second. What? No way. I thought Jeff Gordon was gonna win it. He deserves that win. But no, Casey Mears. First start at Hendrick Motorsports steals the win away from Jeff Gordon. First career win for Casey Mears. And it comes at the Great American Race for the boss, Rick Hendrick. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So Gordon is going to have to deal with second. Boy, we need to see a replay of that. But Casey Mears, oh my goodness. That was unbelievable. Casey Mears he stole it. He literally stole the win from his teammate, Jeff Gordon. Now that's great. Hendrick finishes 1-2, but oh my goodness. I swore Jeff Gordon was going to win, but um, all right. We are going to go to victory lane here, and we're going to go with Casey Mears instead. 
So we will be right there and we will be in victory lane with the winner, Casey Mears. Coming to our only green-white checkered overtime restart. Mark Martin is your leader. He has never won the Daytona 500 before. This is his 23rd attempt, and this is his first time not with Roush in a long time. Kyle Busch, could he get his first Daytona 500 win? Or can someone out of the back get it done? Pacecar is gonna pull on in here. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. Here we go. Martin, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, or will someone pull a miracle out of the back? Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. Coming down the front straightaway. Mark Martin is in front of Kyle Busch. With only two laps to go, it is Mark Martin, your leader. Kyle Busch, second, Greg Biffle in third, Elliot Saller in fourth. Here comes Kevin Harvick to the inside, going for fifth, and he wants more. Through turn number two now, Mark Martin is your leader, Greg Biffle. He is right there with Elliot Saller, but can he do anything about it? Biffle to the inside, Mark Martin to the high side. Is Mark Martin trying to pick someone up? I don't know, I think he failed because everybody else is going to the low side. Kyle Busch stays at a high side. He's going to stay with Mark Martin. Meanwhile, it is Greg Biffle, your leader. Oh, he keeps it for now. Elliot Saller almost spun Biffle out on the front straightaway. On board with Greg Biffle as here they come to the line. We only have one lap of racing to go. Biffle leads. Mark Martin is getting a charge on the high side. He is not giving up. Here comes Harvick, though. Harvick goes in front of Mark Martin as Elliot Sadler stays behind Greg Biffle. Oh, there's some contact. Mike Wallace, Kyle Busch, they get into each other, but we stay racing. Biffle stays as your leader as Elliot Sadler is right there in the second position. Jeff Burton third. David Reagan moves up to the fourth position. One, two, three, four. Dodge Chevy. Couple of cars to the high side, but it's all Greg Biffle. Does Elliot Sadler have a shot? Coming off of turn number four. Biffle still leads. Biffle gets kicked to the high side. Elliot Sadler's right there on the bottom. He has a run, and it's going to be Sadler. Elliot Sadler gets the win as he beats out Greg Biffle at the line. Wow. Elliot Sadler kicks up Greg Biffle at the last moment. And because of that, Elliot Sadler moves over to the 19 ride from 2006, is your winner of the 2007 Daytona 500. Jeff Burton gave Sadler a whale of a push, and that is how she wrote. We will have a replay here of the finish cam to show you how close it was between Elliot Sadler and Greg Biffle. Look at Jeff Burton giving Elliot Sadler a whale of a push, and at the line, Sadler gets it. It was by two one hundredths of a second. The closest finish in the Daytona 500 history. David Reagan finishes in fourth, and Mark Martin does finish in the top five. The rest of the top 10 is on your screen as we will take a break here and we will go to victory lane with Elliot Sadler. Coming to our only green-white checkered overtime restart. Mark Martin is your leader. He has never won the Daytona 500 before. This is his 23rd attempt, and this is his first time not with Roush in a long time. Kyle Busch, could he get his first Daytona 500 win? Or can someone out of the back get it done? Pacecar is gonna pull on in here. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. Here we go. Martin, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, or will someone pull a miracle out of the back? Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. Here we go. Down the front straightaway, Kyle Busch is your leader. 
David Gillen. What a good start by him. Mark Martin did not get going. He's going to fall back. Or fifth position potentially. But right now, David Gillen is all over the back of Kyle Bush. Coming off of turn number two, Mark Martin is fighting back. He has a couple of former Roush teammates around him. David Reagan, well, David Reagan was not a very teammate with Mark Martin. But Matt Kenseth was. And look at the run Matt Kenseth's going to get to the high side and then drops down low behind Kyle Bush. Two and three wide, everyone's going to get lined up for the last lap fiasco of the 2007 Daytona 500. And look at that! Oh, look at that! Kevin Harvick almost gets turned by his teammate, Jeff Burton. Last lap, Kevin Harvick does make it onto the track, but he is slow. Side by side, David Gillen moves up to the high side. Kyle Busch goes up to block. Matt Kenseth down to the low side, as he has a couple of interesting drivers behind him. Casey Mears, and how about Chip Ganassi teammates, Reed Sorensen and David Stremme are behind. Down the back straightaway, Mears goes high, Kenseth goes up to block, Sorensen and Stremme are pushing down the back straightaway. Kyle Busch remains in fifth, but Matt Kenseth has never won the Daytona 500, and could he get it done today? Here comes Reed Sorensen with the run. Matt Kenseth, he stays to the low side. He gets kicked to the high side. Here comes Reed Sorensen at the line. Will it be Sorensen and no. Matt Kenseth at the line beats out Reed Sorensen. Reed Sorensen has never won a race before and he'll have to wait for another week. We will show you the finish cam here of how close the finish really was. But Matt Kenseth was able to hold him off at the very end. If the finish line was like a Talladega, then I think Matt Kenseth would have lost this race. But since the finish line is where it's at, Matt Kenseth is saved by the bell. By the shortest of margins, 11 one thousandths of a second. But you know what? Kenseth is still your winner. Top 10 is on your screen as you see David Shremme is third, Kyle Busch in fourth, and then Elliot Sadler rounds out your top five. So we'll go to victory lane here with a, with a first time winner, Matt Kenseth and the 17 Dwalt Tools Ford. Congrats to that team. And again, Mark Martin is gonna have to wait another year to get the Daytona 500 victory. So we will go to victory lane here. We'll go meet with Matt Kenseth and we'll take a break. So guys, don't go away. We still have more to come here from Daytona. Coming to our only green-white checkered overtime restart. Mark Martin is your leader. He has never won the Daytona 500 before. This is his 23rd attempt. And this is his first time not with Roush in a long time. Kyle Busch, could he get his first Daytona 500 win? Or can someone out of the back get it done? Pace car is going to pull on in here. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. Here we go. Martin, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, or will someone pull a miracle out of the back? Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We only have two laps inside the winner of the 2007 Daytona 500. David Gill into the high side as he's going to block Kyle Busch. But Mark Martin is underneath, and David Gillen, boy, I think he got Kyle Busch all squirreled up as Kyle has to catch it up to the high side. Meanwhile, Mark Martin is low, Greg Biffle is low, but now they move him to the middle of the track. Mark Martin blocking Greg Biffle with everything he's got. Mark Martin, 23rd attempt at a Daytona 500, is trying to win it all. Martin goes low, Biffle stays high. Greg Biffle, he has a run to the high side. Boy, can this high side work? Look at that. The high side. It's not like that silly game, NASCAR Racing 2003 season, where the low line always works. This is real life. The high side is working. Last lap here at Daytona. And look at that. On the high side, Greg Biffle gets the lead. 
but can he hold off the rest of the competition as Mike Wallace getting your help from Roush teammate Matt Kenzer. David Gillen is in the third car on the outside. Oh, they bump, they contact, and there they go. To the outside, David Gillen gets plenty of air. Reed Sorensen, Ricky Rudd, who was involved in the earlier crash, gets involved. Oh, there we go. Lots of cars. Oh, my goodness. Lots of heavy hits. The caution is out, and Greg Biffle is declared your winner of the 2007 Daytona 500. And, guys, he used the high side to get it done. The low line was going slow. Biffle's like, I'm going to have none of it. And Greg Biffle is going to get his first career Daytona 500 victory. Mark Martin is going to finish in second, and he's going to have to wait another year to get a victory at Daytona. David Gillen, heavy damage to his car as he saw lots of other cars pile on in. David Gillen did get some air, but as you can see, he is able to drive his car back to the finish. Kevin Harvick slow on the back straightaway. His car absolutely beaten in. And so the top 10 is going to be on your screen here, and we will show you a replay of what happened to bring out this final caution. Matt Kenseth bumped Mike Wallace in the wrong place. Elliot Sadler, David Gillen, Harvick, David Reagan, Reed Sorensen, Ricky Rudd, as I mentioned before, was in the previous caution. A couple cars spinning on the bottom there. David Stremme, Casey Kane, Robbie Gordon. Michael Waltrip gets popped by somebody, as well as Jeff Green. So a big, big wreck here in turn number two of the final lap. And because of that, Greg Biffle wins the Daytona 500 under caution. So we're going to wrap up here. We will go to Victory Lane here at Daytona, and we will interview Greg Biffle in the 16 car. What an excellent race this has been. Crash filled at the end, but nevertheless, we had some great excitement, and Mark Warren's going to have to wait another year. Coming to our only green-white checkered overtime restart. Mark Martin is your leader. He has never won the Daytona 500 before. This is his 23rd attempt, and this is his first time not with Roush in a long time. Kyle Busch, could he get his first Daytona 500 win? Or can someone out of the back get it done? Pacecar is going to pull on in here. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. Here we go. Martin, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, or will someone pull a miracle out of the back? Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. One car to the inside. That is Elliot Sadler. Boy, I think his transmission expired or something like that. Into the grass. Smoke everywhere. Will that bring out a caution, though? As the cars are picking up to speed, right now the flagman still has the green in the air as Mark Martin continues to lead down the back straightaway. We'll keep you updated on Elliot Sadler. He is still going. But look at Greg Biffle down to the low side. Biffle has it. Kevin Harvick and Jeff Burton teammates are going to push Greg Biffle to the lead. Coming off of turn number three as they're going to be side by side for the win. Mark Martin is your leader. Greg Biffle is in second. Look at that high side go. Mark Martin is able to get back around Greg Biffle, and now Martin goes to the inside. Last lap here at Daytona, 2007. Down the French Redway. Look at Mike Wallace go. Mike Wallace, he is a pro super speedway racer. He knows how to get it done. He is to the high side of Mark Martin. Can Mike Wallace get it done and get his first win at the Daytona 500? Or will Mark Martin finally get his first win in the Daytona 500 in his 23rd start? Look at them like a pace lap, side by side, down the back straightaway. Will Biffle push Martin or will Biffle do anything for himself? Kyle Busch is not behind Mike Wallace. Will that have any effect? Oh boy, they contact in the wall. In the wall goes Kyle Busch as they're four wide behind. Here they come to the line. No caution. They're side by side, line to the line. There is no crash. And here they come to the line. It's going to be Wallace. Mike Wallace has done it. And an upset, an absolute upset. Low funded team. 
the number 09 Mikasuki Chevrolet is able to win the Great American Race. Boy, can you believe it. We'll show you a quick replay here of the finish as we saw a couple of cars, David Gillett and Kyle Busch, they get into each other, but what a save by everybody. Coming down the front straightaway here, Kyle Busch lost a ton of positions, but Mike Wallace is your winner of the Daytona 500. Mark Martin is gonna to have to wait another year to get it done. By the way, Elliot Sadler did make it back to pit road safely, so there was no reason to bring out the caution there. But Mike Wallace, guys, Top 10 is on your screen. Harvick and Burton are in the top five, so good job to both of them. But Kyle Busch, he falls out of the top 10, and he'll have to wait another year to get to a Daytona 500 victory, just like Mark Martin. So we'll go to victory lane here, and we will meet up with our new winner of the Daytona 500, Mike Wallace. Coming to our only green-white checkered overtime restart. Mark Martin is your leader. He has never won the Daytona 500 before. This is his 23rd attempt, and this is his first time not with Roush in a long time. Kyle Busch, could he get his first Daytona 500 win, or can someone out of the back get it done? Pace car is going to pull on in here. One attempt at a green-white checkered finish. Here we go. Martin, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, or will someone pull a miracle out of the back? Here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway. Here we go. Just two laps to decide the winner. Mark Martin leads. Kyle Busch second. David Gilliland third. Mike Wallace and Greg Biffle are going to battle it up for fourth. Through turn number one. Biffle is your leader. As, no, he's not. Mark Martin is your leader. Coming through turn number two, Mike Wallace is going to get behind David Gillen as they bump in. Oh, no, there we go. David Gillen into the wall. Elliot Sally, Greg Biffle spinning out. Lots of cars. Casey Mears, Clint Boyer in the air. Reed Sorensen. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Oh, 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 my goodness. Um, Reed Sorensen. Side over side, end over end on the back straightaway. Caution is out, race is over. And Mark Martin, not just a senior winner, but he is probably the only driver to get away from that incident. He will take the white and the yellow. Lots of cars were involved. Matt Kenseth, one of the first cars to spin out, heavily damaged. You saw Reed starts to go in over end. Clint Boyer, I thought he was going to flip over, but fortunately he did not. Joe Nemechek heavy damage. Kyle Busch, you see there on the bottom left, he has lots of damage. So the big one waited until the very end of the race, and it's because of that wreck that the race ends under caution. There you see Mark Martin, he's going to slow up to the pace car here. Pace car is on the track. And it'll be interesting to see how this top 10 is, will unfold. Because we know the winner is Mark Martin. Like, he was literally the only driver to get away from that rack. As you can see here, he is completely composed. We know how mature of a driver Mark Martin is. But on the inside, he's got to be so giddy. Because he has finally won the Daytona 500. As we will show a replay here of the awful wreck on the back straightaway. As ambulances and crews are getting around Reed Sorensen to see if he's okay. As the pace car is going to lead the field to the front straightaway. Looks like David Reagan will be in second. But the former driver of that six car, Mark Martin, gets it done. In his 23rd attempt, will come to the flag and will win the 2007 Daytona 500. As I mentioned before, we will show you a replays here of the big wreck on the back straightaway. So Mike Wallace gets into David Gilliland wrong, and Kyle Busch is one of the first cars to spin out. David Gilliland gets in front of Matt Kenseth, so that's how Matt Kenseth gets involved, and they'll just everything clutters up. David Reagan, as you see, that's going around. Clint Boyer up in the air. Look at Reed Sorensen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
13, 14, 15, 16 times. And look at Tony Reigns just blasting the Kurt Busch. Here's an onboard of Reed Sorensen. As you see all the cars wrecking around. Jeez, that camera is just holding on for its life. At least 15 cars collected on the back straightaway. But it is all Mark Martin. 22 years of frustration. And in his 23rd attempt, finally, finally, finally gets it done. And he wins the Daytona 5. The unofficial top 10 is on your screen as we're still calculating things out, but the only thing that's for certain right now is that Mark Martin is indeed your winner of the 2007 Daytona 500. We'll go to victory lane with him soon and we will take a commercial break right here. So there you go. 10 attempts, 10 winners. Let me know which one was your favorite, or if you were satisfied with the original finish. Thank you guys once again for all the support. I always greatly appreciate it. And I can't thank you guys enough for all the support. I love you guys all individually. And as always, I will see you next time.